even the air feels different. Well, that's probably because you vacuumed up and cleaned everything. So there's no more fucking dust. <laughs> Usually what happens. at all of them. No, there's one more wave in. I will need to go... Well, actually, I think we have some light infantry in set so we can make them armored pikemen so we can grab more herbal lances. And maybe we have some more actual infantry there. I need a bit more legionaries. Basically, we're just gonna go around capturing cities and castles now not much as else to do and fighting battles of course then after this it's time for Noaitas and hopefully I'm not gonna take as long as I did here to finish that one since you know I don't need to wait for the night to the order and a lot a shitload of renown. We actually get prestige fairly quickly in that game. Especially if you have a bunch of uh, Well, if you own a bunch of stuff like you know the uh, properties in the cities and enterprises. Alright, we need to sell this guy. Significant group of enemies near Uli. I'm not, I'm not gonna be surprised if the whole fucking Ravenstone army is there. At least we're still making money. Of course he's not gonna give me the castle, why would he? It's not like I've taken half the shit we own. No, that's a Ravenstone lord. Now this is what I hate, like one lord can go rogue, well not rogue, but be sneaky and just go around back and waste your shit. And if, you f if you have a fucked up economy like I do, you're gonna suffer. No, oh, never mind, this is the Shaw Lord, that's why he's being sneaky. Or cunning. I can't do damage to them and I can't swing my sword. For, for how fucking wonderful. I can't face through them though. But my idea with the uh, blunt weapons actually works, so we are getting a lot of prisoners now. It would be funny if I actually gave my uh, Lancers rocks. I wonder how that would work. Throwing rocks at the enemy to knock them out. Attacking poor villagers. I 
I wish the like take all button worked for the prisoners you get, and not just the you know the recruits and garrison. Right, we need armored pikemen. So let's grab. Let's see how many do we have. F Fifty legionaries. Let's grab. 40 heavy infantry Wait, didn't I make an armored pikeman now? I guess not I still got 140 pr pr Praetorians, but you know, let's even it out at 100 and 100 So we have 100 Axe infantry and a hundred sword infantry. A kingdom for seek from lovers to spell. The queen. Yeah, well I'm glad you're excited. It's probably gonna be me, you know, in the first like six stream just going around and attacking bandits, selling shit and uh, renting shacks in the cities. You know, until I got get some money rolling in. I was never that good in it. Now sell this guy too. So he doesn't run away. And we almost have the money to upgrade our urban legionaries. Almost. Oh, that's right. Roland, Roland level up. Let's see. Let's actually make him a better trainer. The more trainer skill we have, the better. Did you level up? Yes, you did. Make you may be able to survive more. So we don't need to upgrade anything else. Let's see. Yeah, I wanna beef him up too. Friedrich. More strength. Yeah, that's yeah. More strength is always better for them. Then again, they do go down really quickly, so that you know, there's not a big difference. Let's see. What was I doing with her? I guess I was starting to make her a medic too. Leslie. I was making making her a medic too. And onsen is everything more or less now. Yep. Or actually I was beefing him up. Yeah, but like uh, I think for the net buys you need sixteen. 18k to buy one, right? Something along those lines. I gotta earn that first. And also I need the money, you know, to actually upgrade it further and whatnot. Ah oh, shit, that's right. We need light infantry, not heavy infantry. I guess I'll dump him in the white stack. And we didn't get any more recruits here, so that's bad. I first need to make the money to be able to buy. The... Uh, the Enterprise. Then again, I guess I could make money by raiding and whatnot, villages. Yeah, we still don't have enough for that. And I do want to give them that armor specifically. Although the immortal armor would look nice on them though, too. 50k for it and you need to join the guild. Yeah, I know that you need to join the guild and like, you know, train and whatnot. And then, you know, 
try for the masterpiece. That I remember. At least I hope they didn't change it around. Now let's see. I think in Oregar Castle we have some light infantry. Or we can actually go and recruit, like we used to do. Five Roman levies, good. Actually, you know what, I'm go gonna go to Eregar and tell them to recruit further. Since we are now making money, that's not a problem. Not much, but we are in the plus, at least. And grab the light infantry from here. Militia and the levy recruits. Actually, we don't need that many. Okay, we need how many more? 50. Let's actually take a few more. That is gonna be good enough. 100, 140 legionaries, 50 hoplites, and 100 axe infantry. We're gonna be able to blaze through any castle. Now, let's go buy some food. Is the morale okay? Yes, it is. Good. I guess I could have done the Noldor tournament, but you know, we're, there's nothing else we can get from them. Even a quality gem won't help us out that much. Well, actually, the first thing I'm gonna do in Nova Itas is go grab Harlow's sword in the Oxhall ruins. Right? Yeah, Oxhall, I think it was. Grab that first in game, grab the material, just sell it off so I can grab some, you know, weapon, which I like. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, now let's check on everything. Is anything besieged? Mulberry is okay, Marleon's, Talon. Everything seems to be fine. Did we besiege anything actually? Mm, doesn't look like it. My colony makes four units of cotton each week, and then each one costs. For, and when you sell it, it's, it's when you sell it. So I make from them. I don't think I'm actually gonna be setting up colonies. I like shit that, you know, requires me not to do anything. So, you know, just get money in. I don't wanna trade. You know, go actually from the, the colonies, go there, then, you know, pick up the goods, then sell them off. Are the three seers on the field actually? Maybe we can go. No, they were killed off. Where is the Ravenstone army? I didn't see them yet. Ooh, Wolfblood is on the field. That's nice. Then again, uh, since I can't sell the actual gems I get from him, but there is no point in me actually fighting fighting him at all. It's you know. I don't need quality gems for anything else. Well, I could grab um, another qual uh, another runic weapon, I guess. But that's about it. I just sit here. Ooh, tur two urban legionaries appeared. But like setting up colonies in Oaita seems to, to, to be too much hassle for me. I'm probably gonna not do it. We just need to sit here for another day or two. Okay, 
Okay, we're good. We're still making money. Now, I don't want to run out of money now because, you know, I still need money to upgrade the actual units. So, by me upgrading my legionaries it won't be that good if I have zero in the bank. I'm in the first part of the game. I'm probably gonna go through throughout the whole map, just building shit, enterprise, and whatnot. Not focus on much about anything. And then, okay, that's. I'm. I'm not gonna wait four days for that. You know, make an enterprise in every city. So we have an economy first. And then I'm probably gonna. You know, conquer the new world for some faction, probably the Nordic Union, since I'm gonna be a vassal or a mercenary for them. And I think later on I'll probably. Well, since I'm gonna be in a faction, I don't think I'm gonna be starting my own faction in the first playthrough. I might do that on a second playthrough or something of No Aetis. But if I do start my own faction, I'm gonna build a castle right near Zendar and just, you know, swoop on him from the castle. I think that's a little bit stupid, they made it so easy to, you know, you can build a castle anywhere, so you can, like, have 500 troops in a castle and then just constantly besiege Zendar until you take it. Well, then again, Zendar doesn't have any infantry with shields on it. It's gonna be pretty easy to take. How much money do we have? 13k? Okay. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go through the Jatu waste, so let's go through. Well, Salion. Uh, well, what was Salion and Fields Main? See what we can conquer. Or we can kill this guy anyway. And probably by the time I get to an actual city or start besieging it, someone's gonna go around back and besiege some something of mine, like they did, like the Shah did of with the DOS. I couldn't get there in time, and I never got it back. The AI doesn't want to give it to me. Sir Ryan level up to thirty-three. Maybe I should give my Lancer the... Uh, you no, know, that was another idea. I wanted to make a Knighthood Order with only blunt weapons. To see how they would fare. Because, you know, the Battle Hammer or whatever it's called can crush through blocks. So sieging shit with that would probably be amazing. Enemy has lots of shields. Fuck their shields, just crush through them. Okay, now... We're gonna help that guy. Oh, they took... Wait. Yeah, they took Kenneth Castle back. At least I think they took it back. Okay, now let's see. Whole place go down, urban legionaries go up. When archers get, can go down. I still have the sword equipped. Did I take Kenneth Castle? I oh, know, actually, I didn't. That's right. Oh my god, this... I don't like these. How many archers do we have? Okay, okay, everyone hold your fire. Okay, 
gonna be up gonna be up at nine. I'm probably gonna sleep till four in the afternoon, like I usually do. Although I I might go to sleep earlier today. I'm not sure though. And I did download Down of War, so we could play that. Get wrecked by easy boss and whatnot. But have a good night, and thank you for watching. And telling bad jokes. Or good jokes, depending on what you want, like. It would be even worse if he, if I had uh, retribution. I would probably go play it with the Imperial Guard and get wrecked with it. Now I'm not sure if we can go down here and attack the castle. Let's see. It's funny how we can drown in this game. Now like in some others. Or not not some others, but now this doesn't make sense because you, uh, some enemies can actually s just sit there so you can actually shoot them from here. I think they spawn from yeah, they spawn from here. So if you are attacking, if you have a bow, you can just sit here and just spam arrows at the enemy oh, now the question is how the fuck do I get back <laughs> okay that wasn't too difficult Oh, come on, what's the hold up? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. If, when I do a Fields Wayne playthrough, I'm probably gonna make... Uh, then I'm gonna make a Knight of Doro with blunt weapons only. See how it works. Of course I'm gonna fall off, like a moron. At least we, no, we can now move the ashes back and get up there. Okay, I think they, they killed everything here. Yeah, they did. Good. Maybe the sword will be better here. Each swing kills something. Did it just take an axe to the face? Yeah, no a javelin to the face, even worse. Would you stop firing? I'm actually hitting you. Actually, let's see if we can, uh, the archers can move down here. Yeah, you can just sit there and shoot the enemy in the back with a bow and arrow if you ha do have them. If you're a skirmish build. Mm, 
Damn, these fucking axes do a shitload of damage. Finally, now they only have two castles. We did lose a few troops, but not a big problem. We can supplement them. The last carrier raiders. The other one, these, Gilman, nope. I guess I could take on Maiden Cavalry. Yeah, oh, shit, I forgot to, you know, to take the garrison up so we can leave something in here. I guess we'll leave these. Okay, now I think the High Cliff Castle was the, only, the one they had left at the end. So they're probably not gonna be able to take that. They have too much in it. Let's see, for two hoplites. Urban Legionary, okay, that's good. Now I need to switch my weapon before I fucking forget again. And I do not want to fight on the side of a mountain, so fucking move down here. Let's see, is there a king there? Would be good if I can grab the king. It's gonna be cool if you can actually form alliances in Ban Lord. That would be so nice so you can actually nail. The Fierce Vein would join in the fight with the Ravenstone here. Actually, let's tell him to sit here until the enemy comes over the hill. Now charging. Come on, Archer, shoot them to shit, please. You know, these two guys are dead if they get stuck in the enemy. Tell the archers to sit there when they got, do get up here. And I'm almost dead. That's something you don't see every day.
I should ask him where the king is so I can find him and sell him. Ransom him. We need the money. Not that much, but you know, 20k from a king would help us out a lot. Okay, now let's see. Can we grab this guy or is he too fast? No, we can catch up. No, this is our landlord. Ooh. What? I got double lance there. <laughs> I don't think that's possible, but okay. Okay, I probably got lanced, you know, the first time, then the second one just lanced me after him. That's probably what happened. Yeah, here we're doing fine here. Yeah, we got only one dead so far, the, and that's the, you know, once uh, the one that got killed in like when he's when we ran into them at the start. So not bad. can deal with anything right now except maybe demonic magnuses they're always a pain in the ass okay now can we capture this guy eh. yeah this is a problem all of the lords are there now Let's see what's the garrison like in Iron Oak. Maybe we, could, we can easily grab it. I'm not. So, it's probably not gonna be ours for a long time, since you know, Ravenstone would probably grab it. But let's take it anyway. If it's not a siege castle, uh, siege tower castle. Okay, it's not, it's the only ladder. Oh my fucking god. Okay, attack immediately. This ain't a good position. So nice if our guys can actually hit something and then just hit the wall. Okay, go right first. Why is there always more guys on the right side or wherever you fucking go? Come on, get on the walls. Okay, how the fuck did I fall off there? That's so stupid. Actually, I don't think you can get on that wall there. From this, you know, this side you have to go in first. If I remember this castle correctly.
Yeah, we need to go around, I think, to that wall. I'm not actually around, but up here, through the tower. Not only do the horses face through, the fucking characters do too. Well, the infantry. Man, that should be all of them, I think. Right? No, of course, there's some more hiding in. And up top here. Finally. Now, can we actually hold on to this? Let's find out. What do we want for... Garrison, let's see. Tempests are good, longbowmen, footmen. Armored longbowmen, even better. Skirmishers, yep. I think we're gonna... Yeah, Magnuses would be good. Maiden Cav, Mercenaries. Horsemen, uh, Spearmen are gonna die, but let's take them anyway. Oh my fucking god, they have a shitload of troops here. Wait, traders are lower level than, yeah, than warriors. Okay, let's keep him there. Hmm, we've still got enough troops to take anything. Well, except the, the, you know, the only castle they have left. And this guy besieges it immediately. Now that's a bad idea, dude. No, oh, that guy has a lance. Run away. Urban lance are killed. God damn it. You should have eaten that lance. So you don't lose an eye to the other troop. Dead. 
Oh my god, it takes so long for them to catch him. Yeah, look at this. Finally. You are my prisoner. Now I don't know I'm, what, what I'm gonna actually do. I think I'm gonna have to besiege Wallenberry by myself or Evendor. Probably Wallenberry is gonna be easier. Since, you know, it took them. They didn't hold it for fucking a thousand days in game. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the stream here. Ooh, announce fell to 75,000. Like, I need more charisma. Well, I guess we can always use more. I'm gonna end it here, and I think I'm gonna raid sort of Drillicious. I think I'm I think you guys are gonna like him. If he's streaming, I think he is. He should be anyway. Yes, he is. He's playing Victoria too, and but you know he's a really entertaining guy, and I hope you like him. But for those of you who watched. Thank you for watching, have a good morning, good day, good night, and see you next time.